Hi, uh, I'm Grant Hughes. I'm a ResNet technician at University Housing. Uh, I'm an anthropology major. And behind the camera, we have Channing. Yeah. My name is Channing. I am a senior communication major and I'm from Springdale, Arkansas. If you guys have any questions today, please comment those and we'll be sure to answer those for you guys. Yeah. Alright, so part of your uh, dorm plan is you're included Cox Cable. Um, so, turn this TV on. There you go. Man, all right. All right, so you have a pretty much basic cable plan. However, you do also have HBO included as well. Do you watch HBO? Me personally, yeah. yeah. Do you stream uh, this your stuff? Uh, yeah, I mostly do Netflix. Okay. What are you um, watching these days? Uh, lately, I've been watching Community. Really? Okay, go yeah. back there. Cool. Um, but so I have a lot of channels here to go through. Um, you'll notice when you move in that you have a box on the wall that'll look like this. This is your Cox cable box. Uh, these are all the connections you need, HDMI, coax cable. If you do have a problem with this, any of the things is unconnected or it just doesn't seem to be working, contact ResNet at Housing and we'll be able to fix it for you. Yeah, why don't we show them the, uh, uh the university channel too. I think that's somewhere around two thirteen, maybe. I think it's two fourteen. Two fourteen. Yeah. Oh, good, good memory, Shannon. Yeah. Right, so this, this is the university's channel that's always broadcasting everything that's going on at the university. It runs twenty four seven, always running something news, anything like that. I noticed you have that little dot down there. What does that thing do? Okay, so this is what we call an IR blaster and what it does is it helps extend the range of your remote so you can point it at that, attach it to your TV, point it at that so you can just point the remote there instead of having to point it at the box on the wall. That could be behind furniture or across the room from wherever you have your TV set up. So, Which is literally what the situation is here. See, yes. You can see right here we have this, this yeah. wardrobe right here but because we pushed that back up so it's a good thing to have. So that's pretty much all that's going on with Cox. Uh, so we'll right on. Right, so here. So housing has uh, several services that are available to students, such as cable television, uh, our ResNet help desk. Fix it, that's for anything uh, wrong with the room that's not network, furniture. Uh, need a bed lofted, anything like that. We have a laundry service, which um, we have an app that you can download on your phone and it will text you alerts uh, about your laundry when it's done, when you need to change to the dryer, anything like that. Uh, mail and packages, each dorm has its own mail desk. Uh, mental health services, sustainability and conference services as well. Yeah, we have a, we have a plethora of services we offer when you live here on University housing. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so this is the Fix It web page. So, like I said earlier, if you have any problems in your dorm uh, that needs fixing, you'll come here to uh, make a work request or work order. Um, a lot so of you have used this to um, ask for lofting for your beds. Um, of course, that time period's over now, sorry, but uh, a lot of you use this to ask for your loft, your beds to be locked before you arrive. And broken, I think, uh, uh, any sort of broken blinds or a light bulb changed, any of that. Thermostat, mm -hmm. out, no batteries in the thermostat, those sort of things, lights out, those sort of things. Speaking of batteries, I feel like uh, we were saying they need to bring batteries for their remote control for the television, is that right? The, the uh, room should have a remote. If they don't, um, they can be supplied a remote at the front desk. Otherwise, ResNet will supply batteries. So they just need to reach out to ResNet for that. Excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. Are you submitting a new work request? So, yes. <laughs> Going through your work request, you just need to hit submit new work request in the corner and then select your building.
and then fill out all the information, your name, phone number, email address, and what you want done. Very nice. And then they, they will um, come into your room usually, but give notice, I believe. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. And then you have, I mean, you guys make house calls, right? Resident makes house calls? We do. Uh, just need to call or email and set up a time and we can come out. Nice. So speaking of ResNet, um, to get to the ResNet uh, website, you just need to go to housing.uark.edu slash ResNet, and you will get to our homepage where you'll have our contact information at the bottom, phone number, and email address. However, the best way to contact us would be to create a new ticket. And much like the Fix-It uh, website, So you got to sign in with your UARC account, and once you're signed in, you can create a ticket with us, and you'll have uh, any tickets that you've created with us will be seen on here. Um, you know, the typical reasons you're going to reach out to us is if you don't have anything, uh, you have issues with your network connectivity, or if you're having issues with the Cox communications, like we had mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. All right, so you'll just need to, again, log in. Mm -hmm. Enter your building number, put all the information that's on the page, uh, what the issue seems to be, and then we will be in contact with you asking questions or setting up a time to come to your dorm and fix it. And you've been with housing for a couple of years now, is that right? Yes, that's correct. Well, um, what, what do you see? Like, what are the requests that come in most often to ResNet? Um, a lot of times, it'll smart TVs are getting more and more prevalent, so connecting those to the internet, um, it's just, Generally a simple process, it's gotten simpler in the years that I've been here, uh, it should just be connecting to a specific Wi-Fi network, which is now housing IoT, and it should connect automatically. Okay. But if it doesn't, make a ticket with us and we'll be glad to help. This would be like your TV where you actually stream, stream Netflix, Netflix or Hulu directly yeah. from the device yes. as opposed to some peripheral mm -hmm. uh, Game consoles are the same way. Mm -hmm. uh, really anything that other than computer and phone that connects to the internet, we can, we, well, we can fix those too, but <laughs> um, those will connect to, computer and phone connect to UARC Wi-Fi. Okay. Broadcast in all the dorms as well, and then anything else should be UARC I, housing IoT. IoT, what does that mean? It's Internet of Things. Okay, so, okay, nice. So, everything else. What about if, I, if I'm good buddies with Alexa or Siri or any of the other digital assistants? Can I bring them with me? Um, Alexa is welcome um, okay it should also be on the iot network however these can be slightly more complicated and if you can't get it on yourself please submit a ticket and we'd be happy to help because like i said it is a little bit more complicated um google homes no okay. anything google chrome uh, chromecast chromebooks chromebooks will connect um they're just a little bit more tricky okay. um but chromecast and google home no they don't they won't work on the network Gotcha. That's good to know in advance. Um, a lot of times we have students ask about their printers and bringing their printers and like wireless printers and their own routers and all kinds of stuff like that. What are your thoughts? Uh, printers are allowed as long as they don't connect through Wi-Fi. Okay. You can bring them, hook them up directly to your computer, print from there, perfectly fine. Uh, we don't allow wireless printing, no routers as well. Uh, there should be a router supplied in every dorm room that will allow uh, for wired connections and broadcast Wi-Fi as well. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, no, no wireless printing. <laughs> okay, okay, sounds good. Well, we've got about 10, 12 people who are watching. Any questions from anyone who's watching right now? We are eager to answer. Grant has all your answers for you. Because <laughs> they might literally be talking to you when they arrive here, right? How big yeah. is the team? How big is the ResNet team? Uh, we got about, well, we've got six currently, and then, you know, we've got to hire three more, so and nine people. Yeah. Full team. What are you looking for when you hire a ResNet employee? Oh, hiring a ResNet employee. Um, somebody who's willing to learn. Um, maybe very tech savvy, at least some tech savvy. Mm -hmm. Very high quality of customer service. Very willing to try to solve problems and know when to move the problem up to somebody else. Um, so just you know, a smile, a good attitude. And these people will be interfacing with students all the time, so that's what we look for in a resident technician. Yeah. 
Well, do you have any questions, Jim? I think he covered everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Um, well, again, you can go to housing.uart.edu forward slash services or just go to the home page and look for the word up at the top. I think it's what, third from the right maybe up there? At the, if you go to the uh, very top? Yes, fourth. Fourth from the right. Go right there and you can see. You can show me the website. Yeah. Cool. Any, any parting words for the incoming freshman that you were, you yourself were just three short years ago? Um, About adjusting to life on campus? Don't stay in your dorm the whole time. <laughs> Go do things, and if you need help, ask for it. That's good advice. Good stuff. All right, well, you can tune in to uh, movein.uart.edu, uh, UARC Home Live, to find the rest of our broadcasts, but, uh, you want to wave us out, Grant? All right. Goodbye. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah.